We defeated Abazagal, the blue dragon, with little difficulty. I actually thought for a while there that Draconis, his son, might defeat us, and that his father would be worse. But it turned out that one of the following is true. The son was tougher than the father. It could have been the fact that we put in everything we could into the fight with Abazagal. Or we just got lucky. Either way, that's another ball spawn leader along with his evil son dead. Had we had to face both of them at once, I wonder if we would have actually won. But separate we were able to do it. It makes me wonder why our enemies don't clue into this. <laughs> if it takes killing them one or a few at a time to end Ball's return to our world, then so be it. Now, Emelyn revealed to me that she believes the leader of this Ball Spawn group is none other than Melisan. Perhaps she's right, and it was Melisan who had our group kill off all of her rivals. But then that leaves just Melisan to face us in the end. I will not leave Ballspawn out there to run rampant across Faerun, so I will have to face them sooner or later. If Melisan is the chief architect of all of this, then she will have to pay for it. Oddly, no one has ever mentioned that she is even a Ballspawn. I sense nothing about her that she was, and I'm typically quite sensitive to such things. Though I admit to being wrong before, I might be highly intuitive, which I believe comes from the Ball's essence within me. But my interpretations of what I sense are not always correct. If Melisande is a ball spawn, then she hides it well, somehow. She is a mage, after all. So how does a non-ball spawn benefit from killing all the other ball spawn, even forming a group of powerful ones to do it? Perhaps she just wants to have all the ball spawn destroyed, like I do, to spare the people of this world much suffering. Or there is another possibility. She has somehow been able to tap into Ball's divine essence and accumulate it for herself, just like Ball Spawn do. So with that all out of the way, all that is left for us to do right now is to go and confront Balthazar. If he's also a Ball Spawn, as was suggested, then he will have to be dealt with. Then hopefully that will be it, and we can leave Tethir comfortable in the fact that I know I stopped my father's return. Or we face another enemy. One who has so far been elusive. Abazagal is defeated. One, the only one left of the five, the five ball spawn leaders left that I am aware of is Balthazar. But Imwen just stated she believes Melisande to be the leader of the group. If it must be done. We shall have to see. So we have blue dragon scales. A two-handed sword and a flail. Oh, I can hold the last flail head. That item has been dropped. The scale savage from the blue dragon crackle with static energy when touched. Legend has it that they can be magically forged into powerful armor. I would like to see that armor. I really would. I have no idea what to do with these bronze pentalips. <clears throat> we didn't actually. I don't remember him using his breath weapon. He did push everybody back, but yeah, I don't know what happened there. Anyways, I'll put this these potions of ice dust back in there. Get this to Imowen. Imowen should pick up oh, the flail head. <clears throat> this is an additional head which may be added to the flail of ages. This particular head adds electrical damage. So what is this sword? Gram the Sword of Grief. This is one of the many weapons of the great hero Siegfried. The blade is particularly sharp and well-balanced, and in a certain light one can see the faint image of a serpent within the hilt. Oh, it does poison damage. Uh, not sure, like, the only person that uses 200 weapons are my brother. And he's using this Scion's blade, which makes him immune to confusion and all psionic attacks. <sighs> That's a pretty good weapon truth be told, but it doesn't add poison damage. So, he can use this weapon as his main weapon. If you come across anybody that uses sonic damage, or confusion, we can switch weapons. Interesting. Okay, so <clears throat> that leaves just people who have gained in skill, which is my brother and my beloved husband. Okay, how about resist magic? My brother. Smite. 
With the smite ability, the warrior gains the ability to strike a mighty blow, knocking an opponent back for a considerable distance and stunning the opponent. Okay, I'll go with that. And my brother and the uh, Jantis are very powerful now. It will be done. Anything else here? Any more treasure? What's this? Looks like a portal to somewhere. Oh, there, <clears throat> there goes my hound. Curled up. But I can always summon him back. I don't see anything else here. Just this portal, and I'm curious. I wonder if this takes us now right I outside. Why traveling with you is always so much fun. <clears throat> kind of like Sendai's place. <laughs> my brother has been silenced. Yep, right outside. Oh, Minster. Greetings, old friend. <laughs> Fancy meeting you here. Oh, Minster. Uh, oh, so you do know who I am now. I must admit, you've changed more than a little since the last time we met, before you were straddling the world with your power, so to speak. Why are you here now? You've been watching my progress, I suppose? Watching your progress? Well, not as much as I likely should have. I wish I had known long ago that Garion would be right. I would have done more than just warn you about your destiny, I think. Yeah, all the help that you could have given me would have been welcome. Have you any idea of the havoc the Baalspawn have caused up and down the coast? The havoc you've caused personally? No, I don't suppose you have. Not that it's entirely your fault. We Harpers have been working tirelessly for weeks now to prevent the panic from reaching a boiling point. Not a simple task. As I understand it, though, your quest is nearly at an end, correct? I think so. I certainly hope so. I have to leave again soon, so I can't help you much. But I can help you a little, whether you like it or not. It's important that this all ends soon. But that doesn't mean I won't lift a finger over it. So how can you help me then? Balthazar is known to me. His monastery is sealed up tight with powerful magic. Where he gets it from, I don't know. But you're going to have to get inside, obviously, or he'll ambush you eventually. I know it may not be pleasant to contemplate, but the rogue Saman Haverian holds the key to entering the monastery. <sighs> really? He is once again within the Amkanthran smugglers at the moment. As I understand it, Haverian has been into the monastery several times up until now. He may be able to help you once again if you're willing to look for his aid. There may be another way in, but you'll have to find it on your own. Now, I must go. From this point on, attaining your destiny is completely your own affair. I wish you well. I kind of thought that that was the way it was up until the point where my brother was defeated. Because you haven't contacted me since then, so... Wow, that was strange. Certainly. Sam and Haverian, huh? Well, it gives me a direction of where to go next and how to least to get to Balthazar. You know, if he was supposed to be raising an army of dragons and wyverns, he really didn't do a very good job. Like, there was that one wyvern that we encountered when we first went in. Then there was his son up front. There was the one guarding, the dragon guarding his, where he, he uh, Abazagal was staying, and that was it. And then Abazagal himself. Okay, let's return to Am Kethrin. Okay, so maybe we should go, <clears throat> now that we're here, let's go to Cespinar. We're going to have to rest if we're going to go confront another ball spawn leader. I think we scared the cows away. You see them running. <laughs> With my crazy divine magic. Good servant. Oh, Cespinar. Cespinar gladly serves okay. Like I should have two things that you can Needs must I look through your belongings? Do something Match with. them to recipes, must I? Let me see. Yes. Ooh, what a big sword you have. 
You has Sword of Grief, and you has Heart of the Damned, and 5,000 gold piece maybe? I know his recipe, add life draining powers, oh yes. You want me to make shiny one? Doesn't sound like a very nice sword, but... Well, if my brother's gonna be using it, fine. Sure, let's see what you can make of it. Okay, stand back then. Never used this recipe before. Could be messy. <laughs> Enjoy! Now Saspinar goes back to his duties! Oh, yes! Lots of goodies to find! Lots to collect! Oh, has magic resistance now. Siegfried's fearsome blade is even more powerful with the Heart of the Dam set into its pommel. Each hit, the target could, could be drained and poisoned. Oh, wow. I don't know if that's a very nice sword, though. I wouldn't want to use something like that. Actually, I have used something. I don't know. The identification is saying that it's not for someone who has to be evil. But, uh... It seems my brother has actually changed. He has said that he was going to rethink everything. And as you can see... <clears throat> he's no longer evil. Though he is a bit chaotic, but I won't hold that against him. It will be done. Okay, show me what you can do. Ooh, ah, flail many flail heads, yes. Many I got a new head Ouch. for you. Ooh, fine head. Ooh, you want four head? You got four heads, and I can add the final head. Real shocker, that one. <laughs> Five thousand gold piece, and I'll do it. Okay, you want it? Sure, go ahead. Okay. Stand back then. Never use this recipe before. Could be mess and joy. Now Saspinar goes back to his duties. Oh yes, lots of goodies to find, lots to collect. With the addition of the fifth and final head to this weapon created by the evil Rakshasa race, the true potential of the Flail of Ages is finally realized. Oh, makes you have <clears throat> completely um, it gives you a bonus to magical resistance, and it can slow down the enemy. It does a whole bunch of different damage. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't quite think it's better. Come here, John. As you will. I mean, he's also using a paladin's bastard sword, Fobane, which does a lot of damage to undead, shapeshifters, and all extra planar de beings, demons, planetars. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I honestly don't know. He's the only one that can use. He's the only one that can use, uses it. We were for a long time just using it because it's the only blunt weapon we have. Well, apparently Fobane is... My beloved is saying is a little bit more better. A little bit more powerful. <clears throat> yes, we do have loot, which I would never... Like, equipment that I would never even dreamed of when we first left the Candle Keep. We are armed with about as best possible weapons. Like, we almost have their artifacts, some of them. It's crazy how powerful they are. Okay, Sespinar. I have these, uh... Scales. What is bad smell? You've been killing dragons? Oh, it's blue dragon scales. Stinky. I make good plate armor. Though very light, very shiny. 5,000 gold piece. You want? Sure, go ahead. Okay. I'm not sure if it's, if it's plate, if I'll be able to wear it. Could be messy. Enjoy. Now Saspinar goes back to his duties. Although it oh, is very, yes. looks very Lots powerful. Lots of goodies to find. Lots to collect. The light but durable scales of the blue dragon provide excellent protection against weapons and all forms of electricity. Yes, you're kind of almost immune to it. I don't know who this would might benefit. The Jantus's armor is better, slightly. It's not as good as. Ah, uh, no one else can wear it. I wish I could wear it. I'm, all, I'm wearing white dragon scale. So I was hoping that I could wear the blue dragon scale. Uh, unfortunately. We we'll just have to sell it. What is this I have? A Bazigal's Wardstone. As long as the gear... Okay, <clears throat> we don't need this. We don't need the rope either. We don't need this potion of breath. 
So we are back, and there is a new challenge to go through. So Without doubt. with each challenge that we pass, I gain a new power, so it's quite worth it. Quickly and precisely. Wonder if it's going to be another fight. You think it's going to be another fight? Hmm. I could use the challenge of wits for once. Yeah, no kidding. Whatever happened to clever riddles? Anyway, let's just go in and find out, I guess. Offspring of my old foe. Who? Oh. It's time we spoke, you and I. But first, let's make sure we're not bothered by any of your so called friends. This is a private matter. Excuse me? Uh oh. This must be a very powerful yeah. being if you could do that here. Let's get trivial matters out of the way first. Do you know who I am? Well, you said the f first thing you said, <clears throat> your old foe's offspring. Hmm. I do believe that you're Cyric, reigning god of murder. Yes, you would know, wouldn't you? I am indeed Cyric, god of murder, as well as strife, lies, and illusion, amongst other things we needn't get into. Most recently, I've recovered from a little bout of madness. Not that that's important to you. Only to find the seedlings of the former holder of my office everywhere, like weeds. There's only a bare few of the spawn left now, of course. Like you, I'm not convinced you've the temperament or desire for the office of murder. But one can never be too sure. You can imagine my concern, hmm? How do I know you're Sarek? You sure don't look like a god. As opposed to what? Some grisly avatar like the Slayer? A cloud of smoke, a massive face in the sky with a booming voice. <laughs> I am only here to talk, to gauge your threat to me, if any. <laughs> if I were a threat to you, why wouldn't you just kill me? Uh, if only things were so easy as that. But if I get involved in the whole ball spawn mess, then my own opponents amongst the gods would intervene. Mistra or Kellenbor, perhaps. And it seems that Aeon, the Overfather, has an interest in this as well. Which is very odd. He wishes this little climactic end for the Baal Spawn to play itself out without interference from the rest of us. That would explain a lot, actually, if, the, if Aeon, the Overfather, wanted this all to be played out amongst us mortals. And so I, the Great Cyric, am restricted to watching and observing. And yet, if there is anyone who should feel threatened by a child of the former Lord of Murder, it is me. There is just no justice anymore. I've been watching your progress for a while. Very impressive. I've formed a few conclusions, but let's hear it from the horse's mouth. How much should I fear you? <laughs> You needn't fear me. I have no designs on becoming the god of murder. I see. I would have expected you to say as much. Oren? <sighs> Who could have expected that this level of the abyss, this throne of Baal, would give me such problems? Hmm. If only I could have destroyed it to begin with. Why didn't you just take it over then, when you became lord of murder? I didn't need it. I didn't want it. I have my own plane in Pandemonium, thank you very much. Much better than anywhere in the Abyss. But obviously I should have paid more attention to this dismal place. But it's no matter. Can't undo what's already been done. And if you try, well, that leads to all sorts of different problems. And I'd rather not open that bag of worms once again. As for you, I doubt you will seek my realm of influence. 
If you even get that far, that is. I have little desire to see yet another godling who might be a possible opponent. If you even have any power worth noting. I think you need to be tested. That is what you created these little rooms for, isn't it? To test yourself? Mistra and Ao couldn't fault me for aiding you towards that end now, could they? Yeah, but not if you're trying to cheat and have me eliminated. Unless... Why don't I test you first? We gods are not averse to earthly pleasures, and you would prove an exquisite distraction. You're saying that you want to bed me. <laughs> oh, I'm bemused. You would like to bed me? <laughs> Allow me to explain, lest you decide it is my habit to corrupt innocent ballspawn. I am not as unscrupulous as your late father, but you have my attention and my interest. Your natural allure aside, you might become an ally. I can never align with evil like you. What say you? Would you like to be tested this way? Uh, really. No, I don't. Well then, never mind. Perhaps we will meet again. For now, let us see how you do against my favor. I don't like the sounds of that. I suggest you prepare yourself. Not at all, especially if I'm going to be alone. Well, I'm not completely alone. I have my hound. What? Oh, okay, my group is with me. Yeah, we can do anything then. Uh, what do you want? I don't know where they're coming. If, they're coming from. So just get in the middle. Oh, my As legs I are just done. without hesitation. I've never walked so much in my life. Uh, Ari, of course you're can tired. Rest now, please. Wait, wait, there's nothing happening. Well, he did say to prepare it, but we're kind of ready. Well, just in case, let's just start conjuring up a bunch of things. And who knows what's going to drop on us. My honor is my life. Uh, I don't have a hound, actually. Oh, here they come. Die for the black sun. Uh, of course they're going invisible. So... One right on me. Ouch, it hurt a lot. Saravok stands ready. Okay, defeated a few of them. That was it. Ah. My new ability. I feel... Uh, well, I feel I've gained permanent negative plane protection as the spell, and I cannot uh, be drained anymore. I also have a slight innate magical what is resistance. It? That's fine for me. A vampire can never come and drain me of life. For who are these heads? What is this? What a surprise! It was another fight after all. You know what makes me think that there's got to be a good reason behind it. If the tests always end fighting, it means we're being prepared for some horrible final battle, don't you think? These challenges aren't only about fighting though. They all try to screw with my head somehow. Yeah, that's true. There isn't anything truly valuable, though. Visions of what was, what could have been, what might be, it all feels pretty needless. Do you think it's all helping somehow? I have a much keener insight of who I am and why I do things, so I would say yes. Oh, that's nice. As long as it's working for you, then. Let's keep going, I guess. Alright, what's with the heads? That's really, really weird. <laughs> this will not take long. Well, we didn't even conjure up our most powerful allies either. But I figure we we need somebody to take the uh 
the attention away from us so we can harm them easier. That's what all these, the weaker ones, help with anyway. So, it seems I have gained in skill. Alright, what about power attack? If it must be done. Well, these, it's trying to say things, something to the heads, but they're not responding. They just look like statues. Oh, that is weird. So I'm kind of wondering now, if I did sleep with Sirik, would, would he have still physically tested us in the end? Interesting. Okay, well, there's just one r test left. I guess once Balthazar is defeated, I'll be going into there. But for now, we shall rest. Right, let us return to Amkethran. I've always hated the vampire's ability to drain it will be us done. of our, our life. Oh, now I'm immune to it. Speak. Hmm. Very interesting. Who's this? Oh, Ajantus. What? Who do my eyes see? Douglas! Are you looking for me, good man? Tell me quick. Yes, that's the person who was delivering messages from his family to him. What does he want? So your family wants something now? Sir Gentis, my lord, your sister sends you this. My sister? A huge package and so heavy. Tell me, is everyone all right? Yes, the family of Astar is in good health. Please, my lord, free me of the burden of this package. Of course. Ah, uh, there is a letter, too. Your sister insists on you accepting it, my lord. I was instructed not to take it back. I wish you well. I thank you for your far travels, Douglas. Fare farewell. He, the shield. They've returned your shield to you? What what might be in there? Uh, well, judging by the shape of it, it's got to be your shield. Huh. From your sister, how did she know we would even be here? I I wrote a letter to her the last time we talked about it, love. I told her we might return to Aunt Catherine. A package from your family who denies any contact with you? I have to open the package, and I have to do it before reading the letter. Really? Oh, the family shield. The shield of the family of Astar. Why in Helm's name did my sister... Does that mean that... Oh, uh... Your family is sending back the shield? Could this mean that they changed their opinion about our relationship? Let me read the letter. It's a mystery to me, still, but my heart is heavy. Ah, no, this has nothing to do with my parents' love. It is not a sign that they've changed their opinion about us, and they still do not talk about me. The the shield they meant to... <sighs> oh, this is hard to bear. Listen, Oren. They wanted to discard the shield because there is no one left in the family who could use it. Keep it for the next generation? I don't understand why they would think that. Discard it. I'm such a poisonous influence that I completely spoiled it. Do they loathe me so much that they have to get rid of this remembrance of me? But it's your family shield. It bears the family's coat of arms. They cannot just throw it away, can they? My family's coat of arms, Orin. It's the result of the artistic aspirations of my great-grandfather. That's all. I told you when we talked about my home. I know it was a long time ago, but I did expect you to remember these things. Yes, I remember that, but still, doesn't it represent who your family is now? For a short moment, Ajantris covers his eyes with his hand, his fingers trembling. For... Forgive me, love. This is... <sighs> this is hard. Hard to take. He falls silent, pondering with a creased forehead. Agentis, I'm really sorry. I know, love. I am sorry. I... I have to understand what is troubling me. I know they disinherited me. I... I assume they stopped talking about me, too. But this... This is proof that they also deny me, Orin. I thought I understood this. I thought I had made my peace with it. But seeing it here, written down, feels like my heart is being torn into pieces. <sighs> Are you sure? Are you really sure that that's what it means? What else could it mean? Love, I am desperately looking for a meaning other than the obvious. 
Desperately. Oh, I really thought I was stronger than this. But apparently I'm not. This is bringing me to my knees. Your sister thinks of you and sends you a valuable item to use in your fight. Concentrate on that. You are right. I'm only seeing the negatives. I have to understand what is troubling me so. I... I think I do. Despite everything my parents said and did, I was still hoping, love. I was hoping that they would change their minds. Reading the words my sister wrote, seeing the shield my parents would actually have thrown away, shattered those hopes. At least for a moment, it felt like their decision was final now. Like they were at peace with it. But... But that's not possible. And it's not hope talking now. It's... It's knowledge. I know... I know that my parents cannot be as content with the bad enemy as it looks here. No, most likely they are dying of fear for their son, but cannot show it. They cannot show it, can they? Even if they wanted to give the shield to me, they probably couldn't do so without breaking their word. Maybe they used your sister to get through to you. Your sister could and did. My sister could. My sister would be able to send me the shield, but why did she write that they wanted to discard it if it is not the truth? He ponders for another moment. <sighs> you know, members of a family are often like-minded. How often have you thought me stubborn? Well, my mother is stubborn too. It is possible my parents want me to have the shield, but are afraid I might reject it, were it presented as a gift from them. <laughs> oh, Jantis, I love you. <laughs> that would explain a lot. It would indeed. <sighs> I will have to wait until I can face them and ask them directly. I am afraid. Until then, I will thank my sister for her thoughtfulness and use the shield, unless you have a better use for it. You're the only one... Oh, no. Imowen... No, Jahira and Aerie both use shields as well. Well, you have your shield back. I don't think it's as nice as the shield you're wearing, though, John. Here, just put it in your bag of holding for now. Unless we can find a means of upgrading. I don't think Suspinar would have that, but... Okay, so let's sell what items we have... And then I think I need to talk to Ajantis again before we go look for Sam and Avarian. Well, we certainly have enough gold now. <laughs> Almost 350,000. We could all retire right now. And probably never have want of any gold again unless we're robbed. Okay, Ajantis. What? Yes. Who's this? Why is a monk coming at us to attack us? Not alone. I think Balthazar Spears have gotten the best of him. Could have talked to him about this. It will be done. So brother, you turn good, yet you still have that evil laugh. Well, we can expect this wherever we go, if this is happening. This is not a good sign. Well, well, we still have a moment to talk. No, here's... Hayucha! Okay, let's get out yes. of here. We'll come back. I'd like to talk to Ajantis in peace. Yes, my love? I love you, Ajantis. Your love is a gift I will always cherish. Oh, that's just the start. Are you alright? I am tense, but I am alright. Let me help you ease the tension, Ajantis. Do not mind me, love. I'm all right. You got me. I I managed. That is more truthful. Yes, I would appreciate that very much. Maybe you could massage my shoulders when we rest next. I thank you. Okay, so I'd like to talk to you if you have the time. What do you want to know? Any comments on recent events? The Solaris revela revelation impressed me deeply. 
Yet, it also eased my mind tremendously, love. It is not your destiny to fulfill the prophecy, but to obstruct its completion. Yes, I was also... That also gave me a lot of strength as well to hear that. I understand it now. You play a special role in these times. You will shape the future. You will define destiny. Your own and that of many others. It is in your hands. I am glad the Solar agrees it was my plan all along. It is up to you to end this chaos. I feel humbled and proud to be at your side. There I will remain and support you with all my might, as long as you stay on the path of righteousness. That you will be the one shaping our future gives me strength, love. My fear is about the forces of influencing our lives lessened considerably once I understood this. What do you want to know? Uh, do you want to talk about something? I hope Helm will forgive me, but if these are what the gods want us to believe as the different possible outcomes of your destiny, then I'll have to wonder. Hmm? What do you mean? The Solar showed us what ifs, but she got it all wrong. You were never as selfish as the evil you, we, fought recently. And you were never as helpless and uncertain as your doubt wanted us to believe, either. It, wanted, it offered to restore you to something you never were. That is what I meant. Agentis, you know I need you, yes? You give me the strength I need in these frightening times. I hear you, love, but I thank you. I know you mean it. Help me remember what happened. Without doubt. Any comments on recent events? A blue dragon. The thought of you and this creature sharing the same godly father is hardly believable. Yes, I guess a family reunion with my kin would be an impressive event even in peaceful times. It was impressive enough to see all the assembled children of Baal and Saradush, and those were mostly humanoid ones. Of course, they are not all your siblings. Not in the usual sense. I'm aware of that. The essence of a god is not bound to normal heredity rules. Surprising to see how self-important the son was about his father's heritage, though, considering he didn't share in it. Yeah. Well, I'm surprised enough to see he had a full-grown son. It shows how long Baal tarried amongst mortals. That, or the whole thing, didn't go by normal rules. Yeah, that's true. He may have zipped around different periods of time. The ways of the gods are sometimes difficult to understand for us mortals. I am startled to see a dragon with Baal's heritage, though. Uh, I, I know it's a naive thing to say, but Abazago was by far the mightiest Baal child I've ever encountered. But what am I saying? Not the blue dragon, but you. You are the mightiest and presumably the most impressive child of Baal, if I may say so. <laughs> what do you want to know? Nothing for the moment. You want to continue talking? Helm, give me strength! Any comments on recent events? Seeing all these power-obsessed children of Baal, it is even more striking that you have managed to withstand the evil influence of your godly heritage, Orm. I'm proud of how you withstand your evil heritage, love. By Helm. What do you want to know? Nothing, nothing now. There's still more that you want to talk about? Any comments on recent events? Sirik! Sirik appeared? A god came and threatened you, personally. He did more than that. He wanted to sleep with me. At least I assume he threatened, but he couldn't do anything, could he? He has to wait for the outcome of this, as we all do. Because you're the one who will decide it. And that is true on so many levels. Oops. Is there anything else you want to talk to me about? That was the last thing that happened. I think that's it. Alright, uh, let's sleep. If we're going to go face Sirik... Or, sorry, Balthazar. It seems that Balthazar is aware of what we've done, and then I was decided to turn against us, which is... I guess he kind of used us to do his dirty work, I guess. Eliminate the other ball spawns. Okay, let's get together. Quickly and precisely. Uh, yeah, let's just I'll put up our I can. regular defenses. Man Without right, we have mercenaries, no doubt, to fight as well. About the terrible things that come out in the night, but oh, you must think me foolish. Did you say your mother used to tell you about the, the stories about the terrible things that come out in the night? 
I thought we already went through all that, not the cat loaf, the vampires. Yeah, there's a mercenary. Nature, take the life she gave! Next time. The glory of the life she gave! For the fallen! Oh, I could use these arrows, so they're better than what I have. That's it, keep killing what is them. It? This will not take long. There they all are. You know what we can use when there's this many of them? Oh, I have to sleep one of them. It's quite a lot of them. Coming. Ouch, the one behind me is really hurting. That's it, I'm taking on my oil of speed. Just get out of there. With Helms, yeah. Okay, there's a lot of them. I'll take what arrows, good arrows, they drop in. Wow, uh, I'm afraid that they're just not going to stop until we eat all of them. Okay, I got a bunch of these nice arrows. If okay, let's get together. Done. I don't know if we can stay out here in the open, they just might keep coming. What can I do? Harry, that heal spell if you don't mind. Group heal. Another one. Okay, we're good to go. It will be done. We have to go find Sam and Haverian. But I'm curious to know what happened at the tavern here. Maybe they've made everybody go into the monastery or kicked out everybody else. Oh, there's people in here for us to fight, mercenaries. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Certainly. Hexat, your evil ways end here. Well, that's like a temporary evil way stoppage. Because well, I don't know where she uh, her coffin is. So, but Speak. I don't like to see Hexat just standing there. Direct me as you will. All right, so we have to go find. Uh, well, I'd like to wring his neck when I catch him, but we have to go find Samon Avarian. You must gather your party before venturing forth. I. Why are there bodies speak here? Your mind, if they weren't here before. Why, hello again, Orin. I've been waiting for you. <laughs> really.
Sam and Haverian, I must be cursed to keep running into you. Ah, yes, yes, I suppose we could rehash our differences, were I a mind to, but surrounded by my slattered old comrades as I am, I'm hardly in the mood. I figured you'd coming, be coming back to Am Catherine soon enough, and so I waited for you. I have a proposition, if you're interested. You've betrayed me constantly, even with those guards. Why should I trust you? I've done only what I've had to in the past. I may owe you for my unfortunate rudeness, perhaps. But overall, you and I are pretty even, Oren. What? Even? Not even close. You don't think I had much of a choice with all that business in Spellhold, did you? And for all my troubles for bringing you to the island, I end up losing my best ship. And then there's the business of my poor men here. If it weren't for you and all those other ball spawn, my little smuggling business here could have continued quietly as it was. I had nothing to do with that. I just didn't stop them. The guards. As it is, I guess they're monks. As it is, I've lost nearly all my investment, and I'm not very happy about it. And what about the business with the Gith Yankee? I suppose you were forced into that too? Well, no, that's true. Would you believe I truly didn't intend that to work out as it did? No, I don't suppose you wouldn't. Will you, well, you survived just fine, so no harm done, right? <laughs> we could argue about who's done what to whom all day, or maybe less, as I imagine my being chopped to bits might make your argument a little more effective than mine. Regardless, hear me out first. I blame Balthazar, if anything. He's made my life nothing short of difficult, and now he's gone and curtailed me completely, and harbs some perfectly innocent people. He's got to pay for that. As I understand it, you've got to get inside the monastery, and I've got a couple of ideas which might enable you to do that. Interested? <sighs> Elminster said I should go and listen to you. Okay. I'll listen to what you have to say. I promise nothing more than that. Now, I knew you were more reasonable than you seemed. All right, then. The best way I can think of to get inside the monastery is through disguise. My men uh, scavenged a few uniforms. It's enough for you and me to bluff our way past the gate guards. I need to go with you, naturally. I've done this before, and I know the proper codes to tell them. I would think he's trying to betray me, to bring me in so we would be ambushed. It's a trick, trap. And what do you get out of all this? I get to exact revenge on Balthazar. I'm a man with a reputation to uphold, after all. I can't allow slights like this to pass, you know? And besides, I suppose I owe you one. <laughs> you know, if it, yeah, like I said, if it wasn't for Elminster, I would think that this is Balthazar putting him up to trying to destroy us. And what else? You mentioned that that was, was only the best way. Well, the other way is quite dangerous. I wouldn't suggest it, and I couldn't go with you. Balthazar has a word of that route against me. Specifically me, I mean. <laughs> fine, fine. We'll do your disguise suggestion. All right, then. Give me a few moments to prepare. Come and talk to me again once you're ready to go, all right? Well, we're kind of ready now. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.